Hi, and my name is Kieran. I'm from Woodruff School, which is in Lyme Regis, and in February 2013, 16 students from years 9 to 12 came together to learn recording, research and interviewing skills so that we could record stories with older people from the town about their memories of growing up and working in Lyme Regis. Holly, Chris and myself, Basher, from Year 9, talked to Celia Rattenbury. Celia came to Lyme Regis in the 1930s as a young girl and she told us her memories about growing up in the town, of going to school and about the Olympic torch relay of 1948. Celia was a teenager when the Second World War started and she vividly remembers what it was like for her and her family during this time. That's my mum and sister. Now, just look at the clothes they're wearing. That was 1935, and this is 1940 or 45, and that's the difference in the clothes they were wearing, and my sister was about 10 years older, I would think. My mother's wearing a coat with a fur collar. How did you and your friends view the war? I was at Woodruff School, really, when things started to affect you war-wise. When the siren went, we had to go up to the top field just above the school where they'd got trenches dug, and we had to stand in those until the all-clear went. Sometimes it was quite a long time. You had to take a book with you or something. So it was quite strange. It was quite a different place. My father was in the ARP, and our house then was the A for the Colway Mead Park, was the place where the, um, when the siren went, all the ARP fellows met and waited for instructions of what they got to do or where they got to go. So it was quite active. And it used to, actually, I remember feeling quite hurt once because we, the siren had gone and my mother said, right, you come downstairs, you girls. So we kept, went down. My sister was allowed to stay up at the table talking to the other wardens and things. And she said to me, you go and sit behind that chair over there. <laughs> I know she was protecting me, but I felt quite out of it. <laughs> During the war, that's my dad there, and then this, there are army men here. And this is the 1948 torch. The photographs are um, of groups of us that went. It didn't come to Lyme. We went out onto right out onto the hill to see them go by, and that is the actual torch bearer. But they branched off before they got to Lyme. They branched off and went across to Axminster and that way. And that is the Olympic torch for 1948. That's me there. I think that's me behind there. And that one, that's me having a cup of tea there. Well, that is at half past five in the morning. So I was up early that day. <laughs> well, we all were. That's my mum and dad, and that's an auntie and uncle. That was friends of theirs that took us out in the cars. And it was, you know, great to see them. Did you see the Olympic torch in 2012? Yes, I did. Um, I was invited down. Dear Mrs Rattenbury, I was invited down to the Olympic torch relay Thursday the 12th of July. I've been informed that you witnessed the Olympic torch relay in 1948. So we went down and we were given taken, escorted up to the um, Lion Hotel where they had chairs outside for us to sit on. Well, the difference between them, I suppose, was that the torch actually came through Lyme, so the streets were lined with people and, and you know, all the groups of people, the, all the schools went down and, and it really was, it was really impressive.